Good evening, everyone. This is Robert from RJL518 welcoming you to another exciting edition of Inside Pitch, the 1976 season, the most exciting tabletop baseball game you can play. And we have a good game, I think, tonight. And the last two games have had really some fantastic finishes. So right now, I don't care if one team gets out to a 10 nothing lead. And I've done some stat checking uh, so far in this season, and the games have been pretty balanced. We've had a couple of one-run games. We've had a couple of. We've had a few blowouts, but uh, it's been balanced. So for those of you looking for a great balanced game where you really don't know what to expect, and the players will play to their strengths and the way they're supposed to, that would be inside pitch. Today's date is uh, June fifth, nineteen seventy-six, and we are at Candlestick Park. For tonight's game between the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco Giants, Steeler fan is first to join us here at the stick. Steeler fan will be joining us. The Philadelphia Phillies are in first place in the National League East. The San Francisco Giants are at 500, but that's actually right now good enough for a second in the NL West. So we got a good matchup tonight, and it kind of kind of figures. That even though today's date in the game, game time is 060576, today's date, of course, is is uh May 6th uh today, and of course, today is Hank, uh Willie Mays' birthday. So figuring we would be playing the Giants on Willie Mays' birthday. How about that? Willie Mays turns 90 today. Mazel Tov to that man. Babe Ruth is the greatest player in history. That no doubt about there. There's no argument. But Willie Mays is the greatest overall player in baseball history. And there is for sure. Now, of course, Mays is not in the 76 Giants lineup. Okay. But since the figure that we are celebrating Willie Mays' birthday today on May 6th, we actually have the we're actually playing the Giants. Trust me, I wasn't, I didn't set this was not uh it did not. I did not specifically choose the Giants today for that reason, but that's the way it came up. So the last couple of games have had fantastic finishes. Let's see what this game tonight brings. Uh, the Giants historically won this game four to two, and there were twenty four hits. So who knows what we're going to get tonight? Starting pitcher for the San Francisco Giants will be Ed Halicki. Twelve wins, fourteen losses, a three six two ERA. He gets the call tonight for the Giants. So we are all set. Let's go to the top of the first. Let's play some baseball. And leading off for the Phillies will be second baseman Dave Cash. 284 average, a homer, and 56 RBIs. We are using black, orange, and white dice tonight for the Giants. And let's play some baseball. Halicki's first pitch. 6-6, six, six, strikeout, 5. No good. Cash does not strike out a lot. He will swing 4-1, and he flies out the left. Candlestick Park only adds one to the walks in that park. And I don't care what anybody say. I know the Giants played there a long while. I've been to Candlestick Park for a game between the Giants and the Mets uh, back in the year 2000 when I took a trip out to California. So windy, difficult place to play baseball. I really never liked it. I'll tell you, though, uh, Oracle Park, where the Giants play now, that's the most beautiful stadium in the nation. As much as I love my city field for the Mets, I've been to that park, Oracle Park. Anything with the most beautiful stadium right now in the game, in the, in the, uh, in the majors. Here's the shortstop, Larry Boa, 248 average, no homers, 49 RBIs. 3-6, that's blank. Boa will get a swing, 2-4, and that's a fly out to right. Two quick outs. And the next batter will be the Michael Jack Schmidt. 262 average, 38 homers, and 107 RBIs. And, of course, if you remember, he got a natural cycle in a game against the Reds earlier in the season. So for those of you who don't haven't seen that, you can actually see a natural cycle being rolled. Halicki with the pitch. 3-5. That's a blank. He's not tired. 
Schmidt will swing five six star one. That's ground out to first, and that is a one two three inning for Alicky. Bottom of the first inning, pitching for the Philadelphia Phillies, lefty Steve Carlton. 20 wins, 7 losses, a 3-1-3 ERA. One of his better years in terms of, of terms of win, 3-1-3, still pretty good. And a lot of people will say he's the best left-hander uh, or one of the best. He was one of the best lefties in history. That's no for sure. But to me, the best left-hander in baseball history is, of course, uh, some kid by the name of Koufax. Bottom of the first, leading off for the Giants, center fielder Larry Herndon. 288 average, two homers, 23 RBIs in 76. Carlton with the pitch, 6-5. That is a blank. Herndon, 4-1, star three, and that is a fly out to right. We are using the beta rules for inside pitch, the new charts, and he again updated the charts. So again, I have new, uh, new uh, modifiers to the chart. So we'll see. You'll see it. If they come up, you'll hear me say it. Next batter for the Giants, second baseman, Daryl Thomas, 232 average, two homers, 19 RBI. Carlton gets the throw, 3-1, strikeout, 19, no. Thomas will swing, 5-6, he flies out to center. And here is left fielder, Gary Matthews, 279 average, 20 homers, 84 RBIs. One of the Giants' better players that year. Carlton will pitch. 4-1, strikeout four, and that will get him. He will strike out Matthews at strikeout number one for Carlton, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for him. After one, no score. Top of inning number two coming up next. For the Phillies. Right fielder Jay Johnstone, 318 average, five homers, 53 RBIs. He gets the start in right field today. Halicki, 2 2, that's blank. Johnstone will swing, 3 6. That's a ball hit the right field. That is a six, and that is going to be a double to right for Johnstone, a leadoff double for him, and he will hold that second. Jay Johnstone gets a leadoff double off of Halicki. On a double to right, he'll hold there. And next batter will be first baseman Dick Allen. 268 average, 15 homers, 49 RBIs. The infield will stay normal. We'll see if anything happening on the strat. Uh, the only way Johnston could try to get the third would be on a one, and that's not it. Halicki will pitch. And that's 1-1, one, one. strikeout 8. Yep, that'll do it. Got him. He gets Allen. And that's strikeout number 1 for Halicki. Next batter up will be left fielder Bobby Tolan. 261 average, 5 homers, 35 RBIs. Nothing happening with Johnstone. 5-3. That's a strikeout. The 17 is no good, though. Tolan will take the swing, 3-1, base hit, pass first. That's a single for Tolan. Does that score Johnstone? His base running rating is a three. Single pass first needs to be a four in order for him to score, so he will hold at third. Single for Tolan, runners at the corners now. And next up, center fielder Gary Maddox, 330 average, six homers, 68 RBIs. And let's see what they're going to do. And they're going to call the infield halfway. Johnstone has a base running rating of three, becomes a two with the infield halfway on a grounder. And they may try for the double play anyway. So let's see what happens. First, let's see if anything happening on the strat. That one uh, says, yeah, possible steal for Bobby Tolan. That four plus one is a five. His stolen base rating is a 13. Plus two from Licky is a 15. The catcher is Hill. Plus one is a 16. Uh, I'm going to send Tolan. I will not do it. will not be a double steal. So Tolan's going to try to steal second base and a one to six. 
a one to sixteen. A one to sixteen, he is safe. That is a six, and he is safe at second base. So Tolan gets a stolen base. He had 10 of them, and he does get the one there. So stolen base for Tolan. Now runners at second and third. That takes away the double play. And they're going to call the infield in now for Maddox. See if anything on the strat. The 15 says no. Halicki will go ahead and pitch. And that is a 2-6. That's a blank. Maddox will swing 5-5, five, five, and he pops that one up to second base. What a good break for the Giants as that's a pop out. Two down, and that means nobody can go anywhere. Next up will be a chance for the catcher, Tim McCarver. 277 average, three homers, 29 RBIs. I love McCarver when he was an announcer for the Mets. Back in the 80s with Ralph Kiner. Two outs. Runners at second and third. Strat says a 14. Nothing happening there. Halicki trying to get out the jam. And that is a 2-2. Two -two. That's blank. McCarver will swing. 3-3. Three -three. Star four. And he grounds it to short. Spire will take care of that. Throw to first. And they get out of it. So no runs for the Phillies. There were a couple of hits and a stolen base, but two men are stranded. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Leading off for the Giants, right fielder Bobby Mercer, 259 average, 23 homers, 90 RBIs. Bobby Mercer on the Giants in this uh, in this year. Lefty will pitch, and that is 2-2. Strikeout, 15, no. Mercer gets the swing, and that's a 1-4, and he flies out the right. Next up will be the shortstop, Chris Spire, 226 average, three homers, 40 RBIs. Carlton, 5-2. That's at the park. Candlestick Park says 6-5, and that is a star five. That's going to be a ground out to short. Candlestick Park has no home runs on the matrix except for the top here. Only gave up 76 homers that season. Not a home run park that year. Definitely pitcher's park. Next up for the Giants, first baseman Willie Montanez. He'll be traded to the Atlanta Braves later in the year. Batted 317, 11 homers, 84 RBIs, and 163 games. That was a heck of a year for Atlanta. Played 163 games that year. I believe Atlanta was involved in a uh, playoff game. I guess we played in 163 games. Could be wrong, but I'll check it. Willie Montanez, 317 average, 11 homers, 84 RBIs. But he is still on the Giants today. Carlton, 5-5, five, five, wild pitch. We'll do it again. 5-2, that's at the park. Candlestick says 6-4, and that is a base hit with a possible double. Montanez rounds first. He will try for second, and that is hit to right field, and that is Johnstone, has a minus one of an arm. Montanez's base running rating is a two, but minus one is a one, so the only way Montanez gets to second is on a one, a two or five, he holds a six, he's out. He's out of there. Willie Montanez turns for around first, heads for second, but he's going to be gunned down by Jay Johnstone, and the inning is over. And they're going to have a little talk with him wondering, what are you doing? And maybe that was one of the reasons why he got traded. That does go as a base hit, but it is a throwout. So it is no runs and a hit for the Giants. And after two, still no score. Timeout for a second. I want to check something out. Why he has 163 uh, 
games played that year. I'm out here for a second. Let's see, 1976. Yeah, 163 games. You played with San Francisco and then with Atlanta. 163 games. Why would he play in 163 games? I thought the Red didn't the didn't the Reds in 1976. Why would he play in 163 games? Well, it must have been a makeup game from something, I guess. I mean, the Braves are all the Giants. I mean, the Reds won the West Division by 10 games. I wonder why there were I wonder why there was 163. Oh well, I don't know, but I'll have to maybe I'll check that out and find out why. But in the meantime, let's get back to our game. Midlife Crisis joins us here at Candlestick Park. Thrown out at second for third, out in as bad as at third. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Top of the third inning, let's get back to baseball. Steve Carlton leading off for the Phillies. He batted 217 as a hitter that year in 76. Halicki will pitch. 6-1. That's a home run check. I'm not even going to have to look because Carlton has a zero there. So that's an automatic blank. Carlton will swing 5-2, and he hits a fly ball to center. So Carlton hits a deep fly ball to center pretty much, but Herndon tracks it down. That's out number one. Here's Dave Cash. Cash is 0 for 1. Halicki will go ahead and pitch. And that's 4 6. Strikeout 2. No, he doesn't get him. Cash only strikes out on a 1. Geez, he did not strike out much that year. 4-3, he just grounds it, but he does ground it to short, though, for the second out. And now Larry Boa. Boa's 0 for 1. Bob B joins us here at Candlestick Park. Halicki, 5-4. That's a walk. That 5. Yeah, that will walk Boa, though, so Boa will trot down to first on a two-out ball four. First walk given up by Halicki. And now that will bring up Michael Jack Schmidt. 0 for 1. So no cycle today for him, probably. You never know. 16, nothing happening on the strat. Sports Time Machine joins us here at Candlestick Park. So we could have played for both Philadelphia and Atlanta, depending on off days, could have played that extra game. Well, he was on the Giants. This is to the Braves. So maybe he maybe he played for the Giants and then he got an extra day off days, but he could play the extra game. Maybe he did. Maybe it was a double header or something that maybe possible. I'll have to look at that up. That's interesting. Because neither the Giants or the Braves were anywhere close to the Reds. The Reds won that division by 10 games in 76. Let's see if anything on a strap. But you may be right. And that is a three. Uh that's a steal attempt for Boa, and I'm gonna send him. 16 plus 2 is 18. The catcher is McCarver. Plus 2 is a, I'm sorry, the catcher is Hill. Plus 1 is a 19. The only way Boa's thrown out is on a 20. Nope, not a chance. Boa will steal second base. Stolen base for Larry Boa. And now that puts a runner in scoring position for Schmidt. Yep, okay, that's what I mentioned there, Willie May. I was, that's what I mentioned at the start of the broadcast. Willie Mays' 90th birthday, best overall player in baseball history. He could hit, he could run, he could field, and he could throw. The only player better than him in baseball history is some bum by the name of Ruth. Halicki will pitch to Schmidt, but we'll check a strat. 12, nothing happening there. Halicki, 4-6, strikeout, 11. Yep, he got him. He gets Mike Schmidt. And that is strikeout number two for Halicki. And there will be no cycle for Schmidt today. A one out, a walk, and a stolen base. But that's all Philadelphia can get. We go to the bottom of the third. Willie Mays. The catch is still considered one of the greatest plays in baseball history. 
Ken Reitz leads off for the, how about that bum Hank Aaron? Yeah, I know, right? Here is Ken Reitz, third baseman for the Giants. He will lead off in this game, in this inning. Carlton with the pitch, 3-2, and against a righty, that's blank. Reitz will swing, and that is a 4-5, and he lines it to third for out number one. Yeah, that bum Hank Aaron. Yeah, borderline Hall of Famer. 755 home runs. I can hit 755 home runs in my sleep. Here's Mark Hill, the catcher for the Giants. 183 average, three homers, 15 RBIs. Not getting many starts this year, but he does start today. Pitch from lefty, 5-1. And against a righty, that's a home run check. Against a lefty, Mark Hill is a 13. That is a 1, and that is a cup. Boom! That ball is high, that ball is deep to left field, and that ball is gone. Home run, Mark Hill. A most unlikely guy to hit one, but he does. Mark Hill, solo home run off a lefty. As against a righty, that's a straight home run check, and against a lefty, it's a 13. And only hit three homers. Maybe this was one of them. But uh, that is gone. Home run. And the Giants take a one nothing lead. Stadium cheers. Yay! Ken Reitz passed away a few weeks ago. Yo. You know, I didn't know that. So may he rest in peace tonight. Here's the pitcher, Ed Halicki. Batted 170 as a hitter that year. Carlton will pitch. 5-6, that's a strikeout, 15, not a problem. And that is strikeout number two for lefty. Two men down, and here's Herndon. Herndon 0 for 1. Carlton will pitch. 6-1, blank, he's not tired. Herndon will swing, 4-2, and he pops out to second. And that does end the inning. One run for the Giants on one hit. A solo homer by Mark Hill. Getting sometimes you get that sometimes you get hit uh the the players that normally don't hit one, they usually do. After three, one nothing Giants. Top of the fourth coming up. And here's Jay Johnstone. Johnstone doubled his first time up. He's one for one. Halicki, 6-4, strikeout, 5, yeah, got him. He gets Johnstone. That's going to be strikeout number 3 for Halicki. One quick out. The next batter will be Dick Allen. Allen is 0-for-1. Halicki, that's a 4-2. That's a walk, the 11. That does walk Allen. So Allen will trot down to first on a one-out walk. And that is the second walk issued by Halicki. A chance now for Bobby Tolan to bring him in. Tolan singled and stole a base his first time up, so he's one for one. Check if anything for Allen. A five or lower, he's got something, and that is a 10. No. Allen did have 11 stolen bases that year. Can we get another Jim Umbarger on the channel? Who knows? Halicki will pitch. 3-2. Against the lefty, that's blank. Tolan will swing. 3-3. Three, three. Base hit. Pass short. That's a single. Allen has a base running rating of 3. Uh, he will not make second, uh, won't make third, so he'll hold at second base. Tolan has his second end of the night. Station to station. A chance now for Gary Maddox. Still one out. The infield, of course, is automatically halfway. They talk to Halicki on the mound here. Now they'll pitch to Maddox. Maddox is 0 for 1. And let's see. Uh, for chance for Allen to try to steal third, he needs a 2. No. Halicki will go ahead and pitch. 6-4. Strikeout. 3. Got him. He strikes out Maddox. 
And that is strikeout number four for Halicki. That's a big K. So right now, Halicki is is uh, leading lefty in strikeouts. Carlton did not have a big strikeout year, though, in 76. He only had 195. So here's Tim McCarver. McCarver 0 for 1. Ninth thing on the strat. Halicki will go ahead and deal to McCarver. And that is a 3-5. That's a blank. Halicki, Halicki's not tired. 4-1 uh, for McCarver. Double center field for McCarver. That'll tie the game at least. Tim McCarver smacks a double to center. That will score Allen. Will it score Tolan? His base running rating is a 2. With two outs is a 3. It's a double to center. Plus 1 is a 4. Herndon minus 1 is a 3. So a 1-3 to three on the black die. Tolan scores. 4-5. He holds 6. He could be. There could be an out. That is a 2. He will score. Tolan does come in to score. And Tim McCarver will hold at 2nd with the double. So a two RBI double for the Phillies, and they now take a two to one lead. McCarver comes through with a big two RBI double. It will now bring up Carlton. Carlton is 0 for 1. Uh, any I don't think Carver has a chance to do anything. Nope. Halicki will go ahead and pitch. 3 6. That's blank. Carlton will swing. 2 5. And Carlton, he gets a base hit to left. Carlton gets into the hitting action. That's a 2-5, and it's a single to left field. Will that score McCarver? His base running rating is a 3. Let's move the runners first. McCarver goes to third. His base running rating is a 3 with two outs of 4. Single to left field to get from, get from second plus 1 is a 5. Left fielder Matthews is a 0. So a 1-5 on the black die. McCarver will score. A 6 could be out. That is a four. He'll score. McCarver comes around and scores. And Carlton stays at first base. And just like that, the Phillies now jump out to a lead of three to one. How about Carlton getting into the action? He did hit 217 as a hitter, so he had some ability to, bat, to hit the ball. And Alicky is not happy. The batter now is Cash. Cash is 0 for 2. No chance really for Carlton, but there could be a pickoff. So I'll roll for a pickoff chance. And no, and I got Thunder outside here. So let's hope we don't lose the stream. And if we do, um, we'll have we'll see what happens. Alicky will pitch to Cash. And that is a 5-6. That's a walk. That 13 is no good. Barely, but no. Cash will swing 1-6. He grounds it to third, and the throw will go to second to get Carlton, and that'll end it. Three runs for the Phillies on one on three hits and a walk. We go to the bottom of the fourth there. Three to one, fighting Phils. Montanez actually missed the game with the Giants, so he only played in 60 of their first 61 games and then played at 103 for Atlanta. But Baseball References game log shows him only playing in 162. I just checked his game log. It said 163. MLC. If a game is called for a rain after five innings and it's tied, the stats count. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I checked. I just looked at it. It said 163. Double check for me, MLC. Even though a stat show there had to be postponed five months in tie game. That could be it. That's it. Thank you, brother. That could be it. A, a postponed game and they had to make it up. That would be a hundred. And he played in part in part of it and got the stats. You know what? You're probably right there, midlife. Thank you, there, brother. I knew I can count on you guys in the chat to correct me or tell me some information that I need. Bottom of the fourth. I mean, I know a lot about baseball, but I don't know everything. Bottom of the fourth inning, Daryl Thomas leads off for the Giants here. Nice inning for the Phillies. Lead 3-1 to one now. Carlton with a two-run lead. 
One six against a righty switch. That's a blank. Thomas will swing. Two one. He flies out the left. One man out. Here's Gary Matthews. Matthews is 0 for 1. Carlton, 4-3. Strikeout, 7. Uh, no. Just misses it. Matthews is 6. So he misses the strikeout against the lefty. 2-4 for Matthews. That's a ball hit to right field. That is a 4, and that's going to be a single for Matthews. Matthews does get a single, though. So he'll trot down to first. Here's Bobby Mercer. Infield does go halfway. Matthews does have a steal chance. The only way he's going to do it is a two. And that 13 is a negative. Carlton will go ahead and pitch. One, six against the lefty. Walk plus 10. Yeah, that two is a definite. And now the Giants have something going on here. As Carlton walks Mercer. Runners at first and second. One out. Coming up next will be Chris Spire. Spire 0 for 1. And Matthews, uh, does he have a chance to steal third? No. But we'll roll straight anyway. There could be a pickoff and nothing happening there. Carlton will go ahead and pitch to Spire. And that is 5-6. Strikeout 9. Do too high. Spire will swing 1-5. Ground ball to third. Where was it hit? That ball is hit in the hole, and a double play chance will go from second to third, sec, uh, second to first. So they try for the double play. Spire three, four, five. Second baseman for San Fran for Philadelphia is Cash. Plus one is a six. It's an automatic double play. Five, four, three. Don't even have to roll. Side retired. 5-4-3, double play. That is a six, and they don't even have to roll. That's an automatic double play. And the Phil, and Carlton gets out of a small jam. And after four, and so there was no runs on a hit. After four, three to one fills. Fifth inning coming up. Let's see what we got for the Phillies. It will be Larry Boa. He walked his last time up. He's 0 for 1. Halicki can pitch to 25 batters, so I'm going to mark him there. Carlton can pitch to at least here. Halicki will go ahead and pitch. Not a problem, midlife crisis. You guys are a big help in my chat. 2-5, range play at the park. First time we've had that. Candlestick Park says 4-6. That's a fly ball to center field. And that is Herndon out there for the Giants. His range is a three. No. And that's going to be a double for Larry Boa. Boa leads off with a two-bagger. The Phillies historically lost this game 4-2. to two. They lead 3-1 to one here. Boa leads off with a nice double, and that will bring up Mr. Michael Jack Schmidt. 0 for 2. And we'll see if anything on a strat. Let's see. Boa had 30 stolen bases. The temp rating is a 5. He needs a 3 or lower to try to steal third. No. And Schmidt's not bunning, so Maliki will pitch. 3-5. Blank, he's not tired. Michael Schmidt, 5-1. That's a ball hit to center field. That is a four against a righty. That's going to be a double for Schmidt. Schmidt goes ahead and smacks a double to center. Coming around to score is Boa, easily. Schmidt will hold up at second, and the Phillies now lead it 4-1. And the giant bullpen is beginning to get a little warmed up. Schmidt gets a nice double. And here is Jay Johnstone. Johnstone is one for two. He has a double. Schmidt's chance to get the steal third would be a one. Nope. Still nobody out here. Top of the fifth. 
Alicki will pitch 3-3. Error on a throw. Johnstone, 3-4. Star, star 6. That's a fly ball to right field. And that ball was hit to Mercer. That's a fly out. Now we got to see if there is a throwing error, if there's a throw. So we got to find out. So Johnstone is out. The the roll, the D twenty is a nine. Johnstone um, Mercer has an error rating of seven. So there would not be a throwing error no matter what. But let's see if John if Schmidt makes it, tries to go for third anyway. His base running rating is a three, and the right fielder is Mercer. He has a zero arm. It's hit to right. It used to be no adjustment. Now it's a minus one. So now on a one to two on the black die, Schmidt will go to third. That is a six. That is a five. Do they? So Schmidt does try to go, and that is a five. And does will he get him out now? Mercer has a zero arm and a one to five. No, Schmidt holds on the new rule that normally would be an out, but now you take the now you do the new you take the new base running rules here. So and the arm for for Mercer is a zero. So now. The white die, one to three would be a chance of an out, but four to six would be all runners hold. So with the old rule, he would be out. A four to six, though, Schmidt holds because Mercer has an average arm. So Schmidt decides not to try to go to third. He goes back. And I think that actually makes sense to get the throwing arms and the outfielders a little bit more involved in the game. Here's Dick Allen. There is one out now. Strat says nothing happening. Halicki will pitch. 1-4. Hit by pitch. No. Allen will swing. 5-5. Five, five. Base hit center field. Single for Allen. Will that score Schmidt? His base running rating is a 3. Single to center. Plus 2 is a 5. Center field for the Giants is Herndon. Minus 1 is a 4. So we already know Allen's on it first. Schmidt's here. A one to four on the black die. Schmidt scores. Yes, he does. Schmidt comes in to score, and that is a three, and that does allow Dick Allen to go to second, to go to second on the throw. So Allen does go to second base. That is a single. He's on second, but Schmidt comes in. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it does not include the batter. My bad. Does not include the batter, only the runners. The batter is not included in that. Five to one now, Phillies. The only way the batter can advance is if the if it's a one one. That's the only way a, the batter can advance is a one one. The, that's the other runners on that. I keep on forgetting that. So Allen holds it first. That is a single, but it's five to one, Phillies. And now here's Bobby Tolan, and. Don't know how much longer they're going to keep Halicki out there. And I think he may be done. Let me see here. Halicki can pitch to 25 batters. He's got two more batters to face. Bobby Tolan is two for two. And Halicki does not bat until the fourth. He's the fourth batter. I think that may be it for Halicki. And let's, I'm, you know what? One more batter. See if I can go to Tolan. Infield halfway. Halicki will pitch to Tolan. Allen on it first. A uh, chance for Allen for a steal. Needs to be a five or lower. No. And Tolan's not bunting. Halicki will pitch. Five, six. Walk. Four. No, that's no good. Tolan will swing. Six, three. Star five. And it's a fly out to center field. So that's out number two. Now, after this batter, Halicki will be tired, and so it'll be up to Gary Maddox to see if he can get some more in here. Maddox is 0 for 2. Again, Allen with a 5. Nope. Halicki will go ahead and pitch to Maddox, and that is a 3-3. Three, three. Error on a throw. Maddox, 1-2. Base hit, center field. It's a single to center for Gary Maddox. Allen's base running rating is a 3. Single to center, becomes a four with two outs. Single to center, minus one. 
minus one on a single to center, and Herndon minus one. So a one to two will keep the 12. Um, Herndon has an error rating of seven, so there's not going to be a throwing error. So a one to two on the black die. Allen is safe. Yes, he does. Allen gets the third, and Maddox holds it first. Another base hit. And that will be it for Halicki, as the next batter is Tim McCarver. McCarver is one for two, and he is tired, and that will be do it for Ed Halicki tonight. Two outs. McCarver is the batter. They'll probably bring in a lefty to pitch to him. Let's see who the Giants got to use here. Not much in the bullpen. And I really don't like the lefty, but they're going to bring him in anyway. Here comes Mike Caldwell. One win, seven losses, two saves, 4.86 ERA. Mike Caldwell will come on to pitch to McCarver. So two outs, top of the fifth, five to one Phillies. See if anything happening on a strat. 14 says a negative. Caldwell will pitch. 5-4. And against the lefty, that's a base hit right up the middle. 5-4, uh, a straight lefty, and McCarver singles it right past him. Allen will come in to score easily. Maddox's base running rating is a 3. And he, on a single up the middle, it becomes a 4 with two outs. Yes, he will make third. And McCarver gets an RBI single, and the Phillies are now beginning to take control. They lead 6-1. to one. We've had a lot of fantastic finishes, but you don't count any team out in any of the games I play, for those of you who have been watching me for so long. That'll bring up the pitcher, Steve Carlton, and he is the eighth batter in this inning. Carlton's one for two. See if anything happening on Strat. That is a 13 no. Caldwell will pitch. Four, six. That's a double question mark. And a, Carlton's a lefty. A one to 11 is a single back up the middle. That's a 12. Carlton just misses another single. He'll have to swing, though, 2-5, but he's still got it. The same exact roll, 2-5, base hit to left. Carlton is really doing the job at the plate today. 2-5, that's a base hit to left. Maddox will come in to score. McCarver's base running rating 3, plus the two outs is a 4. Single to left, minus two is min minus two. Left fielder Matthews is zero. A one to two. McCarver will make it the third. No, that is a six. And a five on the white die. Herndon is a minus one arm. And McCarver holds it second as the throw came in very quickly. A five, barely a five, all runners hold on a minus one arm. So McCarver stays at second, but it's now seven to one, Phillies. As they are really racketing it up on the Giants today. Four runs in this inning. It doesn't matter who the Giants have pitching right now. And here's Dave Cash. He's the ninth batter. Here's Dave Cash. He's the ninth batter here for the Phillies. Two outs. And right now, no strat. Caldwell will pitch. 3-3. Three, three, strikeout. 4. No. Cash will swing. 5-6. Line out to second base. And the inning comes to an end. Four runs on six hits in this inning for the Phillies. Halfway through the game, seven to one.
as it looks like we're on for a blowout tonight. Time out on the field. We go to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Seven to one Phillies here. As they just had another huge inning here at the Giants' expense. So it's Willie Mays' birthday, but it looks like the Giants aren't playing like Willie Mays tonight. Willie Montanez leads off for the Giants, and he is one for one. He did single his first time up. Carlton, 5-2. That's at the park. Candlestick Park says 1-5, star three. That's a fly out to right. And here's Ken Reitz, who um, Bob B said that Ken Reitz pa passed away last week. So we'll give him a quick moment of silence for Mr. Ken Reitz. Thank you very much. Reitz is 0 for, he is 0 for 1. Carlton will pitch. 2-6. Hit by pitch. 11 no. Reitz will swing. 6-4. And that's a fly out to right as well. Two men out. And a little cheer here from Candlestick Park for Mark Hill. He hit a home run that put the Giants ahead one to nothing. And then the Phillies promptly answered with seven unanswered runs. He's one for one. Carlton will pitch. That's a 5-5 five, five wild pitch. Do it again. Ball one. 4-5. And that is a walk. That 11 will walk Hill. So Hill will trot down to first on a two-out walk. We'll see a pinch hitter for Caldwell as he is done, as he only came in really to get an out. So the Giants will bring in a pinch hitter here. Has to be the man with the most at bats, and that will be Gary Thomason. Gary Thomason, 259 average, eight homers, 38 RBIs, could play four different positions for the Giants. So he comes in for, uh, for pinch hitting. No strat, Carlton will pitch. 2-4, strikeout, 20, no. Thomason, 5-5, five, five, base hit, center field for Gary Thomason. And with a six-run lead, it's only station to station. There is no throw as the Giants are now in runner safe mode. So Hill will stop at second base as, they get the, as he gets a nice base hit. That is also now part of the rules. Game with a six-plus differential, no throw. It's just station to station. So runners at first and second now with two outs. Larry Herndon coming up now. And it makes sense because you're down by six runs. You need base runners. You don't want to get thrown out when right now you're down by six runs. It makes total sense. And that's a runner safe mode he threw in, he threw in there. So let's see what Herndon can do. He's 0 for 2. And there is no strategy roll. Carlton, 
three, four, strikeout, seven. Yes, he gets Herndon, struck him out. And that is strikeout number three for Carlton, and the inning ends. So no runs. There was a walk and a hit after five. Seven to one, Philly. I know it's a six-run lead, but you guys have been watching me knowing that it ain't over till it's over. Leading off for the Phils will be Larry Boa. Boa is one for two, a double and a walk. Giants need a pitcher here. They got a switch, a right, and a left. And I think they're going to go with a... Let's see, Schmidt. I think they're going to go with a righty here. So the Giants are going to bring out a right-hander. They are down by six runs. Let's see who they want to bring in. They'll bring in Dave Heverlo. Four wins, four losses, a save, a 4-4-4 four, four, four ERA. Dave Heverlo will be the third Giants pitcher. He'll pitch to Boa. Top of the, we are in the top of the sixth. Heverlo with the pitch, 4-6, blank. Boa will swing, 1-6. That's a ball hit to left. That's a ball hit to left field. That is a nine against a righty. Larry Boa smacks a I'm sorry, ball, ball to left field. And that is a double for Boa. Boa hits his second double of the game, his second consecutive double, and he will hold it second. So as I said, no matter who the Giants put out there, the Phillies are just hitting right now. Here is the Michael Jack Schmidt. He is one for three. He has a double. Heverlo will pitch. That's a three, four. That's a blank. Schmidt will swing. Two, one. Pop out to third. That's the first out. And now Jay Johnstone. Johnstone is one for three. He has a double. Heverlo will pitch. 6-1 against the lefty. That's a base hit right up the middle. That is a single one for Johnstone. And on an S1, that easily will score Boa from second. So Boa comes in to score. Johnstone will go to first. And the Phillies are not done, are not done yet. RBI single by Johnstone. And the Phillies now lead 8-1. And here's Dick Allen. Allen is one for two, singled and walked, struck out. Heverlo will go ahead and pitch. Six, five, strikeout two, got him. He gets Allen. Gets Allen on a quick K. Bobby Tolan will come up next. Tolan having a good night. He's two for three, two singles. Johnstone on it first. 6-1 against the lefty for Everlow. That's another single right up the middle pass, Everlow. That's a base hit. Johnstone's base running rating is a three with two outs becomes a four. On a single, on a single one, yeah, he will make third. Johnstone goes to third. So a single for Tolan. That's Tolan's third hit of the night. And now Gary Maddox, and now I think the Phillies are just playing with the Giants right now, just the way it looks, with an 8-1 to lead. Heverlo, and he's that's going to be it for Heverlo. He's coming out, as he is now only can pitch to five batters. He's tired. Let's see who the Giants want to go with now. Giant bullpen is not that bad.
They're going to go with Charlie Williams. Two wins, no losses, a save, a 2.96 ERA. Charlie Williams will be the fourth Giants pitcher to be used. Gary Maddox will deal with him. Two outs, eight to one, top of the sixth. Williams with the pitch, 5 3. And that is a strikeout. 15 is no. Maddox will swing, 6 6. And against the right hander, that's a fly out to center. And that will end the inning. One run for the Phillies on three hits. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. As the Phillies are in total command of this one, eight to one. Sometimes I give you those blowouts there, guys. I am so sorry. But they do happen. Daryl Thomas leads off for San Fran, bottom of the sixth. Thomas is 0 for 2. Carlton's got a lot in the gas tank. 6-1. Blank, he's not tired. Thomas will swing 5-3. And that's grounded to second base. For the first out. Here's Gary Matthews. Matthews 1 for 2. Carlton ready to deal. 2-4. Strikeout 11. No. Not against that high lefty. Matthews 6-1, base hit, pass third. Matthews does go ahead and get a single. That's his second hit of the game. He's now two for three. Bobby Mercer is next, and he's 0 for 1. Infield does go to halfway. There is no strat roll, of course, right now. Carlton will pitch 4-2 against the lefty that's blank. Mercer, 3-1, star one, ground ball to third. Do they turn the double play? Two, three, four. Second base is cash. Plus one is a five. A one to five, they turn the double play. Yes, they do. Side retired around the horn. No runs, a hit for the Giants. Still eight to one after six. Seventh inning coming up. Here's Tim McCarver for the Phillies. McCarver is having a good night tonight. He's two for three. Williams will stay out there. He's got about six batters left in the tank. Williams, one five. That's blank. McCarver will swing three one. He pops out to second. And that'll bring up Carlton. Carlton is two for three tonight. He's hitting the ball. He's hit the 2-5 number twice for a single to left field. So Carlton having a great night tonight. Two for three. And he's pitching a gem. He's only given up one run on five hits. Williams will pitch. Four, five. That's a walk. That six is no good. Carlton will swing. Two, three. This time it's just a ground out to first. Can't do it all the time, lefty. And now Dave Cash. Cash is 0 for 4, and he is the only player on the Philly lineup that has not gotten a hit yet. Williams, 6-1. Possible error. Cash, 4-4. Four, four. Base hit. The base hit to third base. Now that's a possible error, but this is an infield single. It's a low, slow roller. To third, Dave Cash's base running rating is a three. On a one to three, he'll make th first base. The throw goes to first, and Cash is out of there. Side retired. And that goes as a grounder, as that's the new rule on infield singles. So when an E and an EG come up on an S roll, it is now a four. It's now an infield single depending on the base running rating of the batter. So you roll the 1D6 against the base running rating. And Dave Cash's base running rating was a three. That was a six. He's thrown out at first on a heck of a play 
by Ken Reitz to get him down, and that ends the inning. Which actually makes it a little bit more interesting now for infield singles. So three up and three down for Charlie Williams. And we are at the seventh inning stretch. Eight to one, Phillies. Sing your take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. Don't forget, guys, we got 10-minute ticker coming up after the next game. And our next game for tomorrow night, we're going to take a trip to San Diego Stadium. And, they'll be, and, we'll ha and we'll have these San Diego Padres tomorrow night. But they will be taking on my New York Mets. Tomorrow night, it will be the Mets against the Padres. Craig Swan will deal with Alan Foster tomorrow in a pretty good matchup. In a pretty good matchup on 6-7. So we'll see that game, the New York Mets against the Padres. That'll be tomorrow's get tomorrow night's game as my Mets get another look at. And so I hope you'll join me for that one. And you know when my Mets are on the board, you know I take a little bit more active role in the game. But of course, you know, of course, I do play unbiased. Bottom of the seventh inning, Phillies leading the Giants 8-1. to one. And trust me, my Mets are chasing the Phillies. I would really love the Giants to come back here, but doesn't look like that is going to happen. Chris Spire leads off for the Giants, and he is 0 for 2. Pitch from lefty, 4-2 against the righty. Strikeout, 11 is a no. Spire will swing, 5-6. He grounds out the third. And that will bring up Willie Montanez. He's over, he's one for two. He has a single in the game. Montanez with the pitch, 3-3. Three, three. Um, Steve Carlton against the lefty. That's a walk plus 10. And that will that walk Montanez with the eight? Yes, it will. That will walk Montanez easily because that makes that to a 12 and that eight definitely you pretty much know if it's a walk plus 10 if the if the d20 is a is a 10 or lower you know it's an automatic walk so Montanez takes a walk to first and here is Ken Reitz infield is halfway Carlton will pitch one four range play Reitz will swing and that's a 1-5, star four. That's a ground ball to second base. That's it to Cash. His range is a three, but with the infield halfway, it's a two. He'll make it. He's got it. Now we have try for double play. Reitz is a three, four, five. Shortstop for Philadelphia's Boa. Plus one, it's a six. No need to throw. That is an automatic four, six, three, double play. Inning over. Reitz grounds out into the 4-6-3. And the side is retired. Nothing there for the Giants. Still 8-1 after 7. 
Top of the eighth. Here's Boa. Boa having a good night tonight. He's two for three. He's got two doubles, including two consecutively. Charlie Williams could pitch to two more batters before tiring. Williams, 6-3. That's blank. Boa, 6-4. Ground out to second base. That is out number one. Here comes the Michael Jack Schmidt. Schmidt is one for four, has a double in the game. Williams, 5-2. Against a righty, that's a walk chance. That 10 is good, and Schmidt will draw a walk. So ball four on him. He trots down. And here's Jay Johnstone. Williams is tired. They're going to see if they can go because Williams is due to bat second in the bottom of the eighth inning. So they're going to see if Williams can get out of this inning. You're down by seven runs. So pretty much they'll see if he does take one for the team here. Schmidt on it first. There's no strat. Williams will pitch. Five, six. That's a blank. Johnstone will swing. 4-4. Four, four. Base hit to left field. That is a single for Johnstone. That's a single for Johnstone. Now, for the team that's ahead, I still have them go with normal base running rules. The Schmidt's base running rating is a 3. And the single to left, minus 2, is a 1. Left fielder's Matthews is a 0. The only way Schmidt can get the third is on a 1. And no, it may be an out. So let's find out. Uh, Herndon, that was a ball hit to left field. Matthews is a zero. That's a four, and the runners are going to hold. So Schmidt turns around second, but decides that as the ball gets in pretty quickly into the cutoff man, and Schmidt will hold at second base. That is a base hit, though, for Johnstone. And here is Dick Allen, and that is going to be it for Charlie Williams. So he will come out. The Giants will be forced to go to the bullpen. And they're coming on to pitch will be Rob Dressler with a seven-run lead. I guess you go to your weaker pitchers. Rob Dressler, three wins, 10 losses, a 4-4-3 ERA. He did have six relief appearances. That's good enough for me. Runners at first and second, one out. Here's Allen. Allen is one for three. Singled and walked, but struck out twice. Dressler, 1-4. Error on a throw. Allen, 5-1. Fly ball to right field. That's going to be out number two. Schmidt's base running rating is a three. Minus one on a ball to right field is a two. The right fielder for San Francisco is Mercer. He has a zero. We'll, we'll look at that four if necessary. So on a one or two, Schmidt will try for third. He'll go to third. Three to five, he holds. Six, he could be out. That is a four. No, he holds. So there will not be a throw as he'll stay at second base. Stay at second base, and if there was a throw, it would have been an error. But there is no throw since Schmidt decides to hold. So there are two outs. So two men down. And here is Bobby Tolan. He's three for four. Dave Gardner joins us here at Candlestick Park. A great honor to have Uncle Dave here with us. Yes, an 8-1 to blowout in San Francisco. Dressler will pitch to Tolan. And that is a 2-4. That's blank. Tolan will swing. 5-4. And that's going to be a base hit past second. The hits just keep on coming for the Phillies. Mike Schmidt's base running rating is a 3 on a single pass second that will score him. So Schmidt comes in to score. Johnstone's base running rating is a 3 with two outs of the 4. Single pass second uh, that will get him to third. So he does get to third and Tolan holds the first. And it is now 9-1 to one Phillies. Tolan, that is Tolan's. 
fourth hit of the night. And he's now four for five. Bobby Tolan having a career night tonight. As no matter who the Giants put on the mound, it's not mattering. Here's Gary Maddox. Maddox is one for four. The Giants historically won this game four to two. So doesn't look like we're going to go historical tonight. Dressler just trying to end the game or end the inning. Nine to one. No strat. Dressler pitches. Six two. Strikeout. 14 no. Maddox will swing. Two one. And that's a base hit past third. That's a single for Gary Maddox. Now the Phillies are just. Now the Phillies are just being ridiculous. Johnstone will score. Bobby Tolan will not make third, though, on that. He got with a base running rating of two. He has to stop at second. Needs to be a six in order to get the third, so he holds. But the Phillies now have, now have a big lead on the Giants and now lead 10 to 1. And the fans here are pretty much leaving Candlestick Park. Ten to one now, Phillies. After a couple of fantastic finishes the last couple of days, we were kind—I of, guess we were kind of due for a blowout. Here's Tim McCarver with two outs. McCarver having a good night, and he is two for four. After further review, what Steve Tower joins us here at Candlestick Park as he decided to come by and see the destruction of the Phillies on the Giants, even on Willie Mays Day. Because we all know that today is Willie Mays' birthday. Dressler will pitch. 3-2. That's blank. McCarver swings. 1-3. That's a ground out to second base. Throw goes to first. And this inning is over finally. Two runs for the Phillies on three hits and a walk. Bottom of the eighth, 10 to 1. But of course, you know my games. It ain't over till it's over. Because you never know how my games go. As I've had two big, fantastic finishes the last couple of nights. But I guess tonight we were due for a blowout. Carlton will stay on the mound. Uh, he can pitch the 29 batter, so he's still pretty strong. I don't see the Phillies taking him out. Leading off for the Giants will be Mark Hill. Hill has a home run in this game. That's the one run the Giants got. And he is one for he is one for one, homered and walked. So Mark Hill has the lone homer for the G-Men. Lefty will pitch 5-1. And against a righty, that's a home run chance. Once again, he had gives one up. But not this time. That's a 17, and that is higher than the 13. So again, Carlton pitches Hill a, a meatball, but he can't do anything with it. But Hill gets the swing, though. 6-4, and that's just going to be a deep fly ball to left field. But that is all. As Hill gets a uh, – Carlton pitches him a meatball, but Hill could not put the tomato sauce on the, on the pasta. So that's out number one. We'll see a pinch hitter for Dressler as the pitcher is due up. We are in the eighth inning, but it's still the most. It's going to be Dave Rader coming up to pinch it. Dave Rader will come in to pinch it for the pitcher. Rader, 263 average, a homer, 22 RBI. Carlton will pitch. 6-6, six, six, error on a grounder. Raider swings, 2-1. That's a fly out to right. There will not be an error there. Two outs. And now Larry Herndon. Herndon is 0 for 4. Carlton will go ahead and deal. Here's the pitch from lefty. 2-5, strikeout 12. No. Herndon will swing. 6-1, fly out to center. And that was a quick... One, two, three inning for Carlton. He's pitching beautifully tonight. After eight, 10 to one, Philadelphia. The Fighting Phils are in are large and in charge. Steve Carlton is going to come out and bat. 
as they got a nine-run lead. So why don't you see if Carlton can get the complete game? Giants need to bring in a pitcher. And they're going to go with John DeQuisto. You got, you're down by nine runs. So you really don't want to use your top relievers. John DeQuisto will come in, a starter and a reliever, three and eight, five thirty-five ERA. DeQuisto becomes the sixth Giants pitcher tonight. DeQuisto will pitch five six, and against the lefty, that's an automatic out. Didn't have many of those tonight. That's a star six. It'll be a fly out the left by Carlton. Carlton having a good night. He's now two for five at the plate. We haven't had many automatic outs tonight. Batter now is Cash. And once again, Cash is 0 for 5. He's the only one that doesn't have a hit in the Philly lineup. The Kisto, 5-3. That's a walk. The 20 is not good. Cash will swing. 6-4, no, he grounds it back to DeQuisto, and he tosses it to first for the out. So Cash is 0 for 6. And he and so the, the, Philly, the Philly faithful will make a little fun of him. Here's Larry Boa. Boa having a good night. He is 2 for 4, two doubles and a walk. Two outs. DeQuisto will pitch. 4-3, walk plus 10, and that's 16. Yep, that's going to be good. Boa's a 5 against righties, plus 1 is a 6, but a walk plus 10 makes it a 16, and Boa walks. He goes to first. And now coming up is Mr. Michael Jack Schmidt. Schmidt is 1-4. He's 1-4 for four tonight. A double. Boa on it first. And there is no strat. DeQuisto, 5-5. Five, five. Range play at the park. Candlestick Park says 4-5. That's a star one. It's a ground ball to second base. That's hit to Daryl Thomas. His range is a three. The infield is normal. And he will make that play. And he's got it. They'll throw the first to get Schmidt. And the inning will end. Nothing there for the Phillies except the walk. Will we see some ninth inning magic? Or in this case, it had to be a ninth inning miracle. But there was a game where we got kind of close and something like that. Bottom of the ninth, Phillies leading 10-1. to Daryl Thomas is a leadoff batter. Carlton will be tired after Thomas. So we'll see what happens, but I'm pretty sure they'll leave him out there as long as he can. Here's the pitch from Lefty to start the bottom of the ninth. 3 5. That's a walk. And yeah, that that that's a walk chance, and that one is a definite walk. So he walks Daryl Thomas. So a leadoff walk given up to Thomas and puts a runner on first. What? Did you expect a 1 2 3 closing inning and RJL 5 1 8? I think not. Here's Gary Matthews. Matthews is two for three, two singles. Of course, there's no strat roll, and they're going to leave Carlton out there. He could stay out there unless he hits a fatigue result on the Matrix. The infield is halfway. There is no strat. Carlton will pitch. 2-1. That's a walk chance, and that nine is a walk, and Carlton has walked the first two batters he's faced. Still got a long way to go. Here's Bobby Mercer. Runners at first and second with nobody out. They're going to go talk to Carlton. If Carlton gives up a third walk, I will take him out. But they're going to leave him out there. That's right. 90th, 90 years old to say hey, Willie Mays. Best overall player in baseball history. Carlton will pitch to Mercer. And that is a 1-4. That's a range play. Mercer will swing. 4-2. And that is a ground ball to first. That's it to Allen. 
His range is a two, but the infield is halfway, so his range is a one. That is a three. No, that gets by him. That's a single. That is a base hit past third instead. Let's see. Does Thomas scores? Base running rating is a three. And on a single pass third, no, he will not score. He will hold it third. And the bases are loaded with nobody out here in the bottom of the ninth. Why am I not surprised it's happening this way? Here's Chris Spire. Spire is 0 for 3. Do you bring in a pinch hitter for Spire? Let me see who the... I don't think the Giants really have anybody major on the bench. Not really. They're going to let... They're going to keep Spire in there. You may need him for a pitcher. To, for, for John DeQuisto. Base is loaded. Chris Spire coming up. Carlton still on the mound. And they're going to talk to him, see if he wants to finish this game out. The runners are all already, already going to be charged him if any runs score. They're going to keep him out there. They're going to keep him out there. They're going to see if Carlton can finish it. 10-1 to 1 Phillies. Infield is halfway. The Phillies will be more than happy to take two outs for a run. Carlton will pitch. That's a 2-3, and that is a home run with a question mark. Spire is a righty. A 1-4 would make it clear the 5 is too high. So there's not going to be a grand slam, but Spire does get to swing. 3-1, and that is a line out to first. Is there a double play? And on a line out to first, a 1-4 a one to four or a 5 will be. That is a six. No. Holy cow. A one to five to get a double play for somebody. And it's a six. One out. Everybody gets back. An 83% chance to get a double play and they roll the six. One out. Line out to first instead. And now here's Willie Montanez. Bases loaded still. One out. Infield is still halfway. 10-1 to 1 Phillies. Giants trying to make a little noise here against Carlton. Carlton still pitching. He's tired, but he's not hit the fatigue yet. Carlton will pitch. 3-3 three, three against the lefty. That's a walk plus 10. And there's that 11 good enough. Yes, it is. He walks Montanez, and he walks in a run. So Thomas comes in to walk. The runners go station to station. As he walks Montanez. And that is the third walk in the inning. And the score is now 10-2. to two, And now... Uh, Philly has no choice. they got to take him out. As he walks in a run, and the Phillies will bring in the new pitcher, Ken Reitz is the next batter for the Giants. They'll bring in a righty. And coming on to pitch is going to be Wayne Twitchell. They could use Tug McGraw here, but Twitchell actually has a better ERA. And I think... It's not a save situation, but you could bring in a good pitcher here to end the game. So here is Wayne Twitchell, 3-1, and one, a save, and a 175 ERA, as Carlton could not complete the deal. There's still one out, though, and the bases are still loaded. The infield is halfway, and there is no strat. Twitchell will pitch. 5-3. That's a walk. The 13, no. Not this time. Reitz does get to swing. And that is a 3-1, star 6, and that is a fly out to right. Reitz's sacrifice fly rating is a 3. Does he automatically bring home Matthews? Yes, he does. Matthews will automatically come into score on a sacrifice fly by Reitz. And it is now 10-3 as the Giants complete the field goal.
So now a 10 to 3 game as that sacrifice fly brings in the run. The batter now is Mark Hill. Hill has a home run in this game. Almost had one, uh, almost had a second one, but missed it. He is one for two. Two outs. Mercer on at second. Montanez on at first. Twitchell trying to end the game here for the Phillies. Pitch from Twitchell. 2 6. Against a righty, that's a blank. Hill will swing. 2 6. Line drive right to third. Schmidt makes the catch. That's your game. Phillies go ahead and down the Giants tonight. 10 to 3. Two runs for the Giants on only one hit but three walks. But the Phillies come away with a very complete 10-3 win over the G-Men. Final line score and the 10-minute ticker coming up. Don't go away. Take care, Mr. Tower. Always an honor when you join me, sir. Always an honor. For those of you who don't know uh, Mr. After Further View with Steve Tower, I would like to tell, ask you guys what planet you've been living on all this time. For the Philadelphia Phillies, 10 runs on 18 hits and no errors. For the Giants, three runs on six hits and no errors. The winning pitcher, of course, is Steve Carlton, and Ed Halicki winds up taking the loss. Here's the funny thing. San Francisco historically won this game 4-2, uh, to two. so there were six runs historically. We had 13. The Phillies had 12 hits. The Giants had 12 hits. In this game, the Phillies had 18 hits, and San Francisco had six hits. So believe it or not, there were 24 hits historically. We have 24 hits. Not bad, although the Phillies got more of them this time. And there were no errors in historically or in tonight's game. Time for the 10-minute ticker brought to you by Fast Score Baseball of Replay Sports. Let's see how the rest of the majors do tonight. Black Die will be red first. June 5th, Minnesota taking on Baltimore. Minnesota has a 9, 22, and that is two runs. Baltimore has a 13, 51. That's going to be a win for them. The Orioles will beat the Twins. The Twins, believe it or not, have the best record in the majors right now. California at Boston. California has a 5. 65, that's a seven runs. Going to be tough for Boston to beat that. They got a six. Nope, 26, and that is two runs. And I know Salvador America will not be happy with his Red Sox losing there. Cleveland at the White Sox. Cleveland has a 13. 44, and that's five. The White Sox have a seven. 32, and that's three runs. So the, the Indians will win other game. Milwaukee and Kansas City, doubleheader. Milwaukee, game one, has a six. 44, and that is three runs. Kansas City with an 18. 21. Uh, that's going to be with an 18. That's four runs. They'll barely win, but they get the win. Game two, Milwaukee has a nine. 25. That's two runs. Kansas City has a 21, 16, and that is three runs. Wow. 
Kansas City has so much more better chances to score, but they barely beat Milwaukee twice, so they sweep the Brewers. Oakland at the Yankees. Mike Torres against Rudy May. Not a bad matchup. Oakland has a 10. 13, and that is one run. The Yankees have a 10. 54, that'll be a win for them. That's six runs. The Yankees will win. Detroit at Texas. The Bird against Bird Bly, against Blylevin. Fidrich with a five. 26, and that's two. Texas with a three. 66, that's going to be a win for them. Texas will beat the Bird. Cubs against Houston. I know Steeler fan rooting for his Astros. The Cubs have a six. 54. That's a good roll. That's five runs. White Sox, I'm sorry, Astros have a 12. And they need to beat the tie or win. They need a 43 or higher. 32. Nope. And that's going to be four runs as the Astros will fall to the Cubs. And I know Steeler fan will say rigged. Mets taking on the Dodgers. I got John Matlack on the mound for my Mets tonight. I got a four. I need a good roll. 25. Yeah. And that's only going to be two runs. The Dodgers, however, have a five. Not much better. Come on, low roll here, Dodgers. 51. Nope. And that's going to be four runs for the Dodgers. And I lose tonight there. Atlanta taking on the Expos. They have an 18, 33, and that is five for them. Montreal has a seven, 56. It's five runs for them. We have extra innings. Atlanta has a clutch of zero, so that's a straight roll of a three. Montreal has a clutch of zero and a six. They'll win it, so that's three runs. So I'll give three runs to the Expos, and that is going to be an 8-5 to five win for the Spos. San Diego taking on Pittsburgh. 65. San Diego had a 7, and that is seven runs for the Padres. Pittsburgh has an 8. 16. Ain't going to cut it, and that's just going to be one run. The Padres will beat the Bucks. Philadelphia beat the Giants tonight. Reds taking on the Cardinals. Reds have a 13. 11. Oh, boy. That is no. That's zero. Cardinals have a 7. 64. They pound the Reds tonight in that game. 7 to nothing. Moving on to June 6th, Minnesota and Baltimore in a doubleheader. Minnesota has an 8. 41. And that is three runs. Orioles have an 11, 23, and that is two runs. Minnesota wins game one. Minnesota, Baltimore, Minnesota has a 16 in game two, 46, and that is six runs. Baltimore has a 14, 54, and that is six runs also. So we got experts between Minnesota and Baltimore. Minnesota has a zero clutch, so it's a straight five. Baltimore has a two clutch, so two plus one is three. Not going to do it. Minnesota will win that. That's a two-run difference, so Minnesota will win the second game, eight to six. California at Boston. The Angels have an eight, 15, and that is one. Boston has an 11. 64, they'll get that win. That'll be an 8, and the Red Sox will split their games tonight. Cleveland at the White Sox, doubleheader. Cleveland has a 12, 23, and that is three runs. White Sox have a 10, 23, and that is two runs, and Cleveland will win game one. Game two, Cleveland has an 8, 33, and that's three runs again. White Sox have a 10, 26, and that's three runs also. So we got extra innings there. Cleveland has a one clutch. So one plus four is five. White Sox have a two clutch. Two plus two is four. The White the Indians will win that game, 
and we'll give them a four to three win. So they take both games in the doubleheader. Milwaukee against Kansas City. Milwaukee has an eight. 43, and that is four runs. Kansas City has an 11, a 12. Nope, they ain't going to cut it. That's going to be one run. The Brewers will beat the Royals. Oakland and the Yankees have a doubleheader. Oakland uh, has an eight with Vita Blue on the mound, 24, and that's two runs. White Yankees have a seven, 35. And that is three runs. The Yankees, Ed Figueroa, will beat Vita Blue. Game two, Oakland has a five. 63, and that's six runs. Yankees have an 11, though. 62, and that is going to be seven runs. So the Yankees will take both games from Oakland. Detroit at Texas. Detroit has a nine. 44. That's four runs there for the for the Tigers. Texas has a 16, 41. That should be good enough, and it is. That's five runs. The Rangers will beat the Tigers. The Tigers continue to stink. Detroit taking on Houston, doubleheader. The Cubs have a nine in game one, 21, and that is one. That is two runs. Houston has Joaquin Andujar. They have a 13. 12. Oh my God. Wow. 12. That is one run. The White, the Cubs beat the Astros in the first game. Cubs have a 15 in the second game. 23. And that's three runs. But Houston's got a nine in the second game. 53. And they will win the second game. So the Cubs and the Astros will split the doubleheader. Mets taking on the Dodgers. I got Kuzman on the mound. Kuz, the Mets have a six. Come on, high roll. 33. Uh, that's three runs. Dodgers have a four. That's three runs. So I need the Dodgers to roll a 35 or lower. 15. There we go. We got a happy recap. That's going to be three to one. And my Mets will beat the Dodgers in that game. Atlanta taking on the Expos. They got a 15, 25, and that is four runs for the Braves. Expos have a 10, 56. That's six runs. Expos will beat the Braves. Padres taking on the Pirates. Padres have a 5, 34, and that's two runs. Pittsburgh has a 13, 15. That might not be enough. That's two runs also, so we got extras. San Diego has a two clutch, so two plus one is three. Pittsburgh has a zero clutch. They roll a two. San Diego will win it three to two with the extra run. Philadelphia taking on the Giants. I really like to have the Giants win this game. Philadelphia has an 11, 52 though, and that's five runs. San Francisco has a 6, 54, and that is five runs. They got extras there, too. Philadelphia has a minus four clutch. So six minus four is two. San Francisco has a two clutch. No matter what happens, the Giants will win. So it's two plus one is three. So the Giants will win this game six to five. And if the clutches are ever tied, the home team, if it's ever tied after a roll of, of a roll of extra innings, if it's a tie, the home team automatically wins. That's the home field advantage they get. Cincinnati will take on the Cardinals. Cincinnati has a 15, 34, and that is a four, as Salvador America says, rigged. Cardinals have a five. 66. They're going to win this one. That is 8 to 4 and the Cardinals beat the Reds twice tonight as the Reds are not we're off to a great start. Suddenly, fast score is catching up on them. And that is all for your 10-minute ticker. If your team won tonight, congratulations. If they didn't, there's always tomorrow. And tomorrow, we will have the New York Mets take on the San Diego Padres. Craig Swan against Alan Foster. That will be tomorrow night's game here on, on Inside Pitch. 
Salvador America, Steeler fan, after further review with Steve Tower, Midlife Crisis, Bob B. Thank you, Sports Time Machine. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. Subscribe if you've not done so, Peter Bergs. And please hit that bell so you know when I'm coming, so you know when my stream begins. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. The Philadelphia Phillies blitz the San Francisco Giants tonight. They win by a touchdown, 10-3. to We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.